Hello everyone, it's Carrie, and I found the most fun sentiment for Christmas. It had me rolling on the floor. It says, you know you're getting old when Santa starts to look attractive. So today I am going to Copic Color a Santa just so I can use that sentiment. And if you're not a Copic Colorer or you don't like to color, don't worry, I have another card idea for you at the end. So stay tuned. But here I've just started by coloring a really light blue on his glasses and a couple of greens for the holly. I wasn't too worried about the holly because it's just kind of an afterthought there. So I only used two colors of green. I will have the complete Copic color chart that I used all the colors on my blog if you're interested. For his face, I started with the E50, then I went in with the E57 or I'm sorry, E55, and then I blended that out with the E51 and back to the E50. So this was very simple. I think the most important parts of the Santa really are his hat and his beard. For his bell, I'm just using two colors, a Y02 and the Y15 to give it a little bit of a gold look. And now we're gonna move on to the berries. I started out coloring the berries with a little bit of a pink and then I went over that pink with the light red in just a minute, but I didn't want those berries to fight with his red hat. So I made the berries more of a pink than a red. For the hat, I start with the lightest red color, which is the R05. Now I'm going in with a really dark red. Now don't get scared. This is gonna look fantastic in the end. That was R89, and now I'll blend that out with the R29, and then we'll blend the whole thing with the R05. So this is just some really simple Copic coloring. I did this, speed this up a little bit because I am a little bit of a slow color. I also like to take my time deciding on the color, so <laughs> I sped this up quite a bit. If you are interested, you can pause and re-take a look at how I'm doing this, or you can go to my blog for some more information about the colors and that Copic chart. For the hat brim, I'm using C01 and C0, I believe it is. And these are just some cool grays just to give it a little shadowing. We want that brim to still look white, but just add some shadows as well. Now for the beard, I am going to use warm grays. So I have W0 and W1. I think the darkest gray I use here is the W3. And I'm just gonna start by making some lines. This is just really simple, really quick to do. So I'm just making some lines. And now I'm gonna go over that with the, and just blend that out a little with the W0. I actually think that's W00. Now I have the darker gray, the W3, and I'm just gonna make some Ys and some Vs with this gray. And then I'll blend that out with the W1, and I'll blend it out even more with the W00. Now this is gonna look like a hot mess for a little while, but sometimes that's how art projects are, right? <laughs> they start out a little bit of a hot mess. Under the mustache, I'm gonna add some shading with W3, then I'll blend that out with W1 and then W00. And I thought that the mustache needed a little more attention, a little bit darker. So I'm going in with some of the darker warm grays and blending those out in the same manner. I'm gonna go over the whole thing with the W00 just to kind of give it more of a blend. And now I'm going to use a Prismacolor pencil. This is the French gray color, and I'm just darkening the Vs, just the little, kind of the corners of those Vs and Ys, just to give it a little more definition. And then I blend that out with a white Prismacolor pencil. And I'm just gonna go over this until I am happy. <laughs> That's how a lot of my art projects go. Just kind of keep working it until I like the way that it looks. Here is our finished Santa. I really do like the way that he turned out. He's kind of fun. He's He's got a personality. So I'm going to stamp that sentiment 
and then I'm going to layer it on top of this Echo Park paper here. I did die cut the Santa with the Lawn Fawn cross stitched rectangle stackables. So you can see that here and I popped it up with some fun foam. If you don't like coloring, here's my other idea. Just a little bit of stripes with a stencil, add this cute Bella Pops Santa and you have a quick and easy card. But isn't this sentiment just so fun? <laughs> I just love it. I hope you enjoyed this project today. I know I went really fast. Again, I have all the products linked below and also on my blog with some more still shots for you. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope I see you again next time. Bye-bye.